In our introduction video on rebreather diving, Instructor Nevin talked about how a rebreather has counter lungs, so it's like breathing in and out of a bag. Inside a rebreather, it has the ability to remove carbon dioxide from our exhaled breath. It also has the ability to add oxygen as we metabolize it and dive. This bag would not make a very good rebreather because it has no ability to remove the carbon dioxide from my exhaled breath and no way to add the oxygen back into the system after I metabolize it. So I'm not gonna go diving with that. In this episode, we are going to cover how we put together or build the different components of a rebreather, and then how do we test the rebreather to make sure that it's safe to go diving. Let's get to it. BWRAF, certified divers know those initials very well, and those are the checklist points that we're going to do for open circuit diving to make sure we're safe before we get in the water. Well, rebreather divers have checklist systems too, but their checklists happen to be a little bit more extensive. This is two pages of a checklist that we go through to make sure that that rebreather is ready to go underwater. So let's think of the uh, construction or the build of a rebreather in three separate phases. The first phase is the pre-assembly phase. What do we have to do to make sure that all the components that we're going to put together are ready to be put together? The second phase is the assembly phase, meaning we put the components together. Third phase is testing the entire rebreather to make sure that it's functioning and working the way we expect it to before we get in the water. First up, we want to make sure that the batteries are charged. And I say batteries because there are two separate batteries in the AP Inspiration. And all three oxygen sensors are installed and they are in date and still functional. Both the oxygen and diluent uh, cylinders will be analyzed using a, uh, an analyzer to determine gas content. And what is not shown here is we will also analyze our bailout cylinder and make a note of what our percentages are. The open circuit bailout mouthpiece contains two mushroom valves which allow gas to travel in only one direction. And here we test it using a little positive and negative pressure to make sure gas is flowing in the correct direction and there's no leaks. First part of the rebreather construction generally entails filling the scrubber with the softener line, which is going to absorb the carbon dioxide from our breath uh, while we dive. And so that uh, container is filled in a particular manner to make sure it has an appropriate amount and it's compacted properly. This is then finalized and inserted into the scrubber container. Next, the electronics are connected to the uh, temperature stick and we'll do an initial uh, self-diagnostic test by turning on the unit. It'll run through its testing. We'll be able to make sure that uh, the batteries are charged appropriately and everything works. The solenoid is working. And then finally, we are going to close the lid of the electronics and soft lime stack. Now the analyzed diluent and oxygen tanks are inserted into their DIN first stage regulators and secured inside the rebreather. The middle stack containing the electronics and the uh, softener lime CO2 absorbent is now inserted and secured in place, making sure that our hoses come through the appropriate locations and we're going to connect our oxygen line to the oxygen solenoid. Another note we're going to make is the date of fill of the scrubber unit, and also after every dive, we'll write down how many minutes so that we don't exceed the useful life of the softener line. Now the front portion of the loop can be assembled with the open circuit bailout valve and mouthpiece being attached 
to the appropriate sides for inhalation and exhalation hoses. Both the inhalation and exhalation counter lungs also need to be attached to the system, which is what instructor Nevin is doing right here. Now in the closed circuit mode, all of the gas is sucked out of the system. You can see instructor Nevin pulling the gas out and closing it back to open circuit. And we will leave this for at least three minutes to make sure that it can maintain a negative pressure. Now a positive pressure test will be performed where we will blow into the closed circuit mode. You can see here that instructor Nevin is also opening both of the overpressure valves and we will allow this to remain in a pressurized state for at least 10 minutes. And both the negative and positive pressure tests, we're ensuring that no gas leaks are occurring from the system that we have put together. As we showed you earlier, there are three separate oxygen sensors in the AP Inspiration, and uh, the calibration of those sensors is a critical portion of the testing phase of the uh, rebreather. And so the system goes through its uh, startup diagnostic testing, uh, making sure that everything's working the way that we expect it to, and then it goes about calibrating those oxygen sensors we could spend an entire half hour program talking just about that portion alone. Let's move on to the pre-brief. The last step is to pre-breathe the rebreather for at least three minutes. And uh, this was filmed in a time-lapse mode and I slowed it down, so I apologize for the jerky nature of the film. But we do this for several reasons. We wanna make sure that the oxygen sensors react appropriately that oxygen begins to be injected into the system by the solenoid and that we're held at our low set point appropriately and that the temperature stick starts to warm up and shows us that reaction where the CO2 is being absorbed and an exothermic reaction occurs to warm up that stick. Now that we've built it and tested it and we know it's safe to take underwater, let's go diving with a rebreather. In our next episode, we are going to cover the certification process. What is involved in becoming certified on a particular brand or model of rebreather and what skills you're going to be required to do underwater. If you wanna check that out, click the link down below me. If you wanna check more about the rebreather series, click the link to the left side of my head.